Shalom, all praises, glory and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chakradash, double to the apostles, bishops, elders, and teachers of Great Most End, and the like minded men and men not be directly part of Great Most End, but following the same doctrine given to the apostles from their teachers, initially from Elder Abba Bivins, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Um, um, Salutations to the elect, Hakim and Akwa from Banyam, of Bayaf Tavada, that's the men, women, and, and sons, um, children of um, sons actually, of the house of David, the elect who are predestined to be saved, leading the elect 144,000 rulers and judges of this world to come. As I've said before, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God. His true name is Yahweh, meaning he, ex he, he is, he exists, he to be. The name of his only begotten Son, our Lord, our Saviour, is Yahweh Shai. And he saves, he delivers. Yahweh Shai, as previously stated, will return to deliver his elect of the nation of Yasharallah, the nation of Israel, who consists of the um, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those scattered who are of the lineage of um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, so, yeah, Yahweh Shai will return to redeem his elect. And you can read that in Matthew 24th chapter, um, 31st verse, 31st, 30, 30, 31. Okay, and the elect of the nation will be saved and be gathered from the four corners of the earth, four winds, north, south, east, and west, mainly from Babylon the Great, which is America, which is um, to be destroyed by a nuclear ICBMs um, when that time comes, um, and also the chariots of the Lord and um, also the land of Israel. Will also be destroyed, but the land of Israel will be rebuilt because that will be the epicenter of the kingdom of Yasharala, the Yahushai, and the, um, the house of David at the head. Okay, um, 144,000. So, yeah, um, so Babylon the Great will be destroyed, but that will not happen until the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, where you find that in Revelation, the 13th chapter, 16th, 17th verse. Cause of all both small and great, and paraphrasing, rich and poor, to receive a mark. That mark is the karagma. It is a physical mark. Um, it is a digital all. It, the C hip, which is about the size of a grain of rice, which is being um, being um, presented to the world as we speak, but not fully presented. Um, um, you know, you got people like Elon Musk, who's just implanted the first person with Neuralink, which is. Mark in the forehead, the karagma in the forehead. Um, you've got various countries in the world, Sweden being a prime example of different people using the CHIP as a, a, as a currency or as a access to buildings, X, Y, and Z. But there will be a time that will it, where it will be introduced as a as a uh, false saver of the people. Yeah, and you take that, you will be have in derision. And also, um, you can read that in Second Andrew's 16th chapter. Um, you also be destroyed um, eventually when the chariots come by Yahushai and the angels. Um, we can read that in Revelation the 14th chapter, Revelation 16th chapter, 19th as well. I think it's 20th as well. Yeah, 19th as well. So, yeah, there we have it. But it's important to understand that the prophecies um, are coming in sequence. And right now we're facing um, famine of the word. You got the bill that's come out, it can just go to people's voice come out in um, Canada, here we are, where are we, where are we, come on, it's coming up next, I think, here we are on page two, there's a good look here, Trudeau praying in public, reading aloud from Bible is hate speech to be severely punished, so now Amos 8 and 11 uh, must come, yeah, which is the famine of the word, famine of, he famine of hearing the word from the apostles and teachers, true men of the Lord, um, they will be pulled off from the streets, you know, when that time comes, which is shortly upon us, and the prudent shall be silent in those days, um, Amos 5, tongue to cleave to the mouth, um, so I'm going to go back to this, here are we, it's like, uh, I've missed the article, oh, anyway, talks at the top, so this is today from, um, from People's Voice today, but this has been news for a while actually to be fair you know for those who are keeping up mark zuckerberg buying up gold reserves as he prepares 
to flee to doomsday bunker. Something terrible is coming. You know, the prophets have told, I've, I've been listening to, to the men of GMS prophets for a few years now. Um, and that's the, from, from when I heard the word um, through them and from Apostle Tahar and down, that's what they've been saying. You know, America's going to be destroyed. MOTB is a, a mark of the beast, a microchip. Um, it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. They've been warning the people, correct? Yeah, so... <laughs> so th these these things must come to pass. Let me just quickly get a scripture. Here we are. Um, let me go to Ezekiel. Thirty three or thirty three. We'll get to thirty three actually. Thirty three. All right. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, you know, the prophecies, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So there's, you know, Isaiah 69, obviously, you know, um, the angel of the Lord have, have blinded the minds of some people. You quickly get that. Yeah, so if you're not meant to see it, you're not meant to see it. What, what time we're living in. Um, we'll get straight to the point here. Yeah, um, I heard a voice from eight. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, I, here am I. I, here am I. Send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. So there's people who've heard this message. Yeah, and seeing this message, seeing the prophets, and they've scoffed at them. But it's because Yahweh Bashim Yashai has, has put the blinders on them, plain and simple, through, you know, the angel that he sent. Make the heart of these people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, with love, their mind, and convert and be healed. Yeah, so there's certain people, you know, um, you know the two-thirds, basically, the Quran 13 and 8, um, uh, 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 set to be destroyed, plain and simple, and will be born in the kingdom. So all Israel will be saved eventually. Romans 11, chapter around 27, 26 verse. Okay, but this specifically is a. Sorry. First Corinthians, what I'm doing. Cross references goes to. This first Corinthians should be here. Yeah, second Corinthians. Like a bit with me a minute. Hey, why is that not here? Yeah. Hmm. So like yeah. Four. Four and three. That should have been there. Actually, as a precept. But anyway, Second um, Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the power of uh, this world, no, the God of this world, have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious, glorious gospel of the Mashiach, Yahusha, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So basically. If you're not meant to get it, you're not meant to get it. Right now, what we're seeing is these um, elite so-called um, hiding and getting prepared, preparing for the destruction to come. You know, um, you can go into a few scriptures on them digging into hell, which is in a, um, Joel, isn't it? That's like, yeah. Amos, what I'm talking about. Mark Zuckerberg buying up gold reserves as he prepares to flee to Doomsday Bunker. Something terrible is coming. Mark Zuckerberg is frantically buying gold and preparing to flee with his family to a doomsday bunker, according to reports. Jonathan Rose, the CEO of Genesis Gold, 
group in Beverly Hills, California, says many of the global elitists are now hoarding gold and preparing to flee to their bunkers due to something big and terrible that's uh, basically they know they know what's coming that's about to occur. And what's about to occur is destruction of Babylon, the third world, yeah, which is happening as we speak. But they can, um, where am I? Got a mind blank. Well, three. Amos, yeah, they do. Well, I've got a mind like here. Wow, well, I can't believe that. Amos 9 and 2, yeah, there we are. So I'll keep that. We have scripture many times. All right. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake, it's going into the destruction, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away. So even though they're going to try and run away, they ain't going to get away. You know, especially if um, the um, they're in Babylon, Great which is America, which is going to be completely destroyed. It's a sacrifice. Read that in Isaiah 34th chapter. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Yeah. He must nine. I can't believe it. Allow me to find it. They're going to dig. We know what dig means, but you know, it's good to look up these things. So they dig. Underworld. <laughs> and dig into houses of burglary to row in water. To dig. To row. Um. Hachva Ra Ha Ha Ra Comes with burglary, but figuratively, but always dig row. This also goes into to break through Hades, basically dig down into the ground. That's basically what it's talking about, yeah. Place of exile, uh, of the place of exile and extreme degradation and underworld grave hell pit. So basically, this also goes into the fact that, um, um, there is no such place as a um, burning, um, as a place of hell. Hell is a condition, or oh, the grave. You know, uh, right now as Israelites, we're in hell. We're in hellish condition, and uh, you know, Edomites and the other nations are in their heaven, specifically the Amalek, um, the nation of you know the chief tribe of is um, Esau, Edom. You know, they're in their heaven. We're in our hell, you know, which is a condition. So you know, that's just a quick lesson within a lesson there. Yeah, so. It's a place where you burn forever. Um, it's, it's just, that's just, it's even sounds ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, you know. So, um, let me go to Revelation 6 chapter. I think it's at the end, isn't it? Ooh. Um, Revelation 6 and 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, these are the leaders, you know, they're all going to run away and try and hide in their bunkers. And the might in you know we in space and the space stations or in in, in the you know the bunkers in Hawaii wherever it is, yeah. Um, every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Yeah. Again, this is a description of them hiding in their bunkers. You know, you've got Shine Mountain and Babylon the Great, for example. You know, um, in the dens. Let me see. And in the kings of the earth, and in the rich men, and the high, the chief captains. Dens. Strong 
Hawks G 4693 Spay layer. Spay layer. You know? Heave dense. So this is what they're doing. <laughs> so by implication, a hydro so strongest definition. Derivative of Spayos, a grotto, a cavern, by implication, a hiding place or resort. You know, some of these bunkers are resorts, you know, better than some of our, you know. So, anyway, this is what they're doing, you know. Um, and every bondman and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, yeah, um, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne when Yahweh I returns. And from the wrath of the Lamb, because he's coming with great wrath. He was just coming from Edom with dyed garments, from Bosra, glorious in his apparel, Isaiah 63. But the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And read this in NLT. For the great day of the wrath of his wrath, their wrath has come. Yahweh Yahushai, and who is able to survive? <laughs> the elect will. You know, and there's going to be certain um people that survive because we're gonna have um basically put those in chains you know jeremiah 13 16. just uh, i could go to um revelation 13 9 and 10 but i'm gonna go to jeremiah 13 16. just to prove a point therefore all that devour thee so you know we've been devoured by these nations specifically esau edom we can read it in psalms 83 the list of our enemies esau edom's first i'm mean, next mention that ishmael twice you know um hamites are on there you know all the nations that put us in captivity obviously it was because of our disobedience yeah but um they're going to get a recompense and this is one of the scriptures to prove it therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Yeah, this is what is going to happen in the future. Call our Lord Yahweh Yashai. So they can run as much as they like. But <laughs> Go to James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupt and your garments are moth-eaten. Yeah, because everything you've received is by theft, robbery, and murder. You know, deception. Your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You know, when the destruction comes, you, will eat, you have heaped treasure, together for the last days yeah behold the hire of the laborers who, who have reaped down your fields which is of you kept back by, which is of you kept back by fraud crieth and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the, the ears of the lord of sabaoth that's the lord of armies the, the harabar shingar shai has heard the cries of the elect the men that have been preaching on the highways and the byways, yeah, the nation of Yasharala, and um, and right now he's answering, plain and simple. So with that, I'm not going to labour the point. You know, they, they, they can. Oh, that would, you know what? Lord's will. This is edifying to the elect. Made the point. They're hiding. They're running. Just to prove one quick point. Leon Black, Jamie Diamond, and the Walton family have now sold a combined 11 billion in company stock this month. Some for the first time ever. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has sold 1.2 billion in stock over the past four months. This is from six days ago. Well, from this story here, yeah? So they're preparing, plain and simple. But all they're doing is preparing for captivity. With that, I'm going to say, Lord, well, this is edifying to the elect and the hopeful elect. Call hello, Yahweh, Bar Shom, Yahweh Shai, Bar Shem, Akadash, the blondest, the apostles, elders, and teachers of great Muslim and like minded men, who may not be directly part of great Muslim, shall to the elect, the hopeful elect, shall awam. Call hello,